we are live once again, ladies and gentlemen. What up? What's what up? Going? What up? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing this evening? Yes, sir. I'm Lamar, and that's my brother Casey Fowler. It's a Tuesday, or whenever yeah. you're watching, got we got accessories. Oh, come on. <laughs> we cut. <laughs> um, he wouldn't have this problem if he knew how to cut a cigar. Yeah, right well, you know, know, but we I got my accessories, damn it. Continue, right. sir. So we have our accessories again. And um, we are here. So, look cold out this do, bitch. Welcome, welcome to the Foul Language Podcast, episode eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. Head, yeah, head yeah, cheat, yeah. head yeah. cheat. <laughs> hey, like every other episode, you might just hear some foul language. So put the kitties to bed, get your accessories ready, because we got a real good one in store for y'all today. You got that right. Yeah, man. So with all that being said, brother, what is best in life, or oh, wibble man. as you call it now? Yeah, uh, it's a lot to type in. Yes, well, you know, we both work for agencies that use a lot of acronyms, so you can have whole sentences in acronyms, and that'd be perfectly all right. And we will understand um, it. mm -hmm, Exactly. (laughs) I remember the first time this shit happened to me, I was like, wow. Well, here we go. I'm in, officially. (laughs) Welcome. Right. It's a short week for everybody in the house but me so that works for everybody that's good i suppose um like i said last week i'm working on my stay-at-home setup Mm -hmm. um my monitor came fast as hell it is but the the desk doesn't come for another three weeks damn so this is yeah, gonna be collecting dust. So that was the decision I had to make. It was like, do I let this big ass monitor collect dust, or do I just go ahead and put it on the table and kind of struggle with it for a little while? What do you think I chose? Me struggle with it for a little while. That's what I would have chose. Damn right. <laughs> See, we're and, alike, but we ain't at the same yeah, damn time. Right, That's crazy. Right. It, and I put it in, set it up, and it's glorious. So awesome. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna start purchasing some more stuff. Um, be uh, purchasing some more shit tomorrow. So um, not even just for the uh, setup, but need a new ashtray. Um, while we were traveling, I left mine outside and it looks terrible now. Oh, damn. It was cheap anyway, but um, yeah, it looks terrible now. Yeah. So I'm just That's why I'm glad some... I got like the little porcelain joint I got, man. So yeah, still the, up. the special custom etched. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the wibble, the wibble c- uh, cigar <laughs> right, ashtray. Right, right, right. So all I'm using is a cigar rest on a leather mouse pad that I have. So hey, it, it'll it'll work. It'll it'll catch work. the ash, so fuck it. Yeah, that's right. I just brush it off anyway. That's really it. Not much going on. So week of work. Um, good week. So can't complain. I know. Nothing really new to report, man. So I guess it's rare that I have a short one. Yeah, it so, is. Um, everybody that's watched us religiously. Y'all could time it, and he'll still be going right now. Like, damn, you got a lot of good shit happening, bro. <laughs> it ain't that I have a lot of good shit happening. Like, it, it's how you view it, man. Yeah, that's, that's it. true. I that's mean, true. That's true. I, I do do my gratitude journal every night, and I am grateful for a lot of shit because right. while there's a lot of shit I don't have, there's even more shit that I do have. So that's true. That's definitely, definitely true. Quote of the week already mm. done because I didn't yeah, buy yeah. one. <laughs> But, but yeah, um, man. For me, that's it. What about you, man? All What's right. Best in life. Something a little different. I'm gonna start off. Um, first and foremost, a couple of black business owners I want to give special shots out to on this one's best in life, real quick. First of all, our cousin Duke, you know, with his lit lamps. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know, he turns his liquor bottles into lamps and stuff, and, and people are buying them pretty good and everything like that. Oh, that's cool. So shout out to you, cuz. You know what I'm saying? If y'all looking for something like that where you want a liquor bottle lamp, you know, I let uh, Cuzzo with the, the lit lamps. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, second- and if you're watching, man, hit us up on um on Facebook or something. We got your info on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Um, But let me know if you got an Instagram. I'll put it on. I'll uh, share it on Instagram, too. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And then uh, secondly, um, Tasha's brother, Jonathan, which is my older three kids, uncle, if you out there didn't know who that was, um, him and his wife, they got a trucking company now. They got a couple oh. of box trucks. Yeah, that's dope. And, uh, yeah, they make making big moves, man. And they, they brought some of the family in. They uh, 
they got the youngest in there, Sean, he in there. Mm -hmm. um, their dad started working with them. I think that's about it because I don't, I don't know the other guy that I can think of. I might know him. I don't know. Can't remember his name if I do. But um, so that's why Dre want to drive trucks. Yeah, he wants to he wants to work for his uncle. Now I think that's real dope. You know, keeping it in the family. That's something that could prosper and go yeah. for for a good little bit of time, man. And I know John since he was like what sixth grade, something like that. So seeing oh, cool. him and his family stepping up the way they stepping up and doing their damn mm -hmm. thing. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all keep doing y'all damn thing. Um, the last thing that was best in life is I'm not using sinus this week. I actually got some good fucking uh, allergy medicine so I can I ain't and all that other shit hack, hack, and doing that shit this episode, man. So you know Welcome saying? to the allergy hey. child. Yeah, um, hell yeah. So I mean, like you said, it's 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 my it's my perspective basically. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm good. Everything's good mm -hmm. right now. Can't complain. So that, my brother, is what is best in life. Once again, are you Black entrepreneurs out there, business owners, y'all keep hustling, keep doing what y'all do, man. Let's get this show yeah. up. Hit us up, man. If you got some cool yeah. shit, man. If you, you for me, if you make uh, any kind of woodworking or metalworking or leatherworking or any shit like that, any crafts like that, I, I love that kind of shit. Hit me oh, yeah. up. I got money to spend. So uh -oh. let me know. I got money to blow. <laughs> I'm getting it in face ass. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have a sinking fund for shit to buy, and I don't anyway. buy shit. So hey. yeah, yeah. So so holla at me. I feel um, you on that, man. So um, let's kick this thing off, man. Yep, so let's do it tonight. Um, my first topic it got me thinking. I, I think I saw a post that you shared. And and one of our uncles shared, and I thought about it for a minute, and it was real um, related to like the the struggle of black people and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Not good stuff, but you know what I mean, along yeah, those same veins. Yeah. But um, so I got to thinking, I was like, so can you truly be for the cause, for the culture? And when I say for the cause, I'm talking about the, you know, mistreatment of black folks and trying to get those things better conditions for black people be it reparations um, prison reform small business uh, advantages you know shit it's discrimination in every yeah. aspect of aspect. life i mean fucking yep. in anime and cosplay there's fucking mm -hmm. discrimination <laughs> the cosplayers like yo i have to deal with this shit every time i dress up as a non-black character it's yeah. crazy what i was thinking is can you have a, a wife or, or be married to someone who is not black and still be for the cause. Hmm. And I think about it because my wife is black. That Yours is. is not. That Love she is. Love her to death. It's but, my baby. Yeah. But um, I, I just thought I, you know, hear from you, hear from somebody who is about to, you know, have a second channel where he's talking about uh, our melanated warriors throughout the history. Yeah. Right on, right on. Plug, right on. you know. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that one. Y'all check it out. Y'all check it out. By April the um, 22nd, that should be dropped. Yeah, yeah. So, um, someone like you, how can you be for the cause but you didn't take a black wife? Well, what are your thoughts? First and foremost, my wife is my wife. Black, yellow, green, purple she supports me i support her that, that's how marriage is supposed to work but as far as my people i am who i am you see this my hands ashy but fuck it you see this <laughs> i am melanin to my core man my kids are melanin even though um my, my older three are like a quarter a quarter or so hawaiian and yeah. uh the younger two i have tomorrow you know them still black kids mm -hmm. and i support my people and everything they do you know what i'm saying um you could definitely support your people. I mean, who you marry is who you marry. You can't help who you love. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. But you can help how you impact your community, your culture, things like that. You can still be for your community, your culture, your people in general, and have whatever whatever uh, ethnicity, ethnicity of a wife that Say you fucking again. want to. Say it again. And, and husband, for that matter. You could be one of our sisters out here, you know what I'm saying, getting it in fist in the air and you got a white husband or whatever that's cool whatever mm -hmm. you know what i mean so because you know a lot of times those spouses who are not the same ethnicity as we are they, they support the cause just as much you know what i'm saying and 
my my wife in particular, who's tomorrow, you know, their their culture has dealt with their shit, fair share of, you know, racial injustices and things like that, especially now with the whole, you know, stop Asian hate thing going on. Because, you know, essentially my wife is Asian. Somebody look at my wife. And I was going to say for the folks that don't know what tomorrow is, because I didn't know the term tomorrow until I met, met your wife. So shit, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> So she said tomorrow. I said a, a tomorrow. What is that? Right. Then, I mean, you know, she broke it down for me. I was ignorant. Camacho here. cigars and that. Like, no. Camacho. Okay, so a, a tomorrow yeah, and for for my um tomorrow family out there, if I fuck it up, I'm sorry. We could talk about it over some liquor and some um um food. Some food. No sides. No. <laughs> There's sides. This red rice, man. This should be fun. Oh man. But um. Yeah, a Chamorro is a is a native from Guam, basically. Like mm-hmm. you, your your parents are gu- from Guam, and you're in in Guam. And my wife and her family have to be, in my opinion, the most Chamorroist of Chamorros over there because they have these. Uh, I guess you can call them a medicine woman. They're called Sirahanas, and her grandma, God rest her soul, was like the uh, a real, real, real big deal. Mm-hmm. And in Guam, as far as Sarah Hannes, I mean, she can talk to like the governors, the mayors, and all types of stuff. She got stuff on YouTube uh, with her on and getting interviewed and things like that. So, yeah, that's what a tomorrow is. And the tomorrow people had to deal with a lot of uh, uh, Japanese discrimination mm-hmm. in, in the past when, mm-hmm. when, you know, Japanese invaded and things like that. And sure. also when, um, you know, the, the, the Spaniards also, you know what I'm saying, going mm-hmm. a little further back beyond that. The Spaniards, I mean, some of the same struggles we've had, they've had also. So, you know, that's why I don't have a problem with my wife being who my wife is, because I mean, we do a lot of the same stuff, like the the the, the Naga Gun Club. The nine is ninety percent African American. We're both mm-hmm. in that gun club now. We haven't been Damn, to a meeting yet. I need to join that too. I need to do that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we we ain't been to a meeting or anything like that yet. But I'm pretty sure once we go, once we move to Mississippi or whatnot, she's gonna be. Um, Welcome my open arms, you know what I mean? Because, hey, at the end of the day, we all we got, man. Division going to tear our ass up. So, I mean, regardless of what color you are, what race you are, as long as you, you, you're you a good person at heart, you down for something, you know what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from, I understand where you're coming from. I'm going to rock with you. So, and that's exactly who my wife is. With that being said, bro, what, what are your thoughts on it? I know, you know what I'm saying, you and Kim got y'all, y'all black love shit going on, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the black love, you know what I mean? So, uh, what you think, bro? Well, as with everything and with all those in the world, my thoughts have evolved over the years. So at first, I was of the impression of, fuck no. Mm. How in the hell? When, you know, all these beautiful black women out here, you couldn't find one? Mm. But uh, but at the same time, it was weird because I don't really give a damn because you love who you love. Yep. I, I think for me, my thing was like if you weren't like you know pro uh support my people going to the marches protesting you know all, you know all that kind of shit and you didn't have a black wife you were kind of cheating a little bit mm-hmm. but then as i got older and i mean i'm talking 10 15 20 years mm-hmm. ago and um kiss my ass man that is old as hell. <laughs> he has a weird ass smell. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That one lame as hell. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I'm not 40 yet, but you know, I've done a lot in my short years. So, um, anyway, so in thinking about it, I thought, you know, I don't care. But as long yeah. as you know, whoever you love, and if you're not like, oh, I could never date a black woman, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like knowing you, you didn't care. <laughs> I didn't discriminate at all. <laughs> you did. At all. You didn't. It's just she's the one that was right for you. Yeah, and she was. Lord he knows is. anybody <laughs> in the world can deal with your shit is her. So I mean, and that don't matter. I mean, if there was a black woman that could deal with your shit that you met, yeah, and you would have married her too. So definitely, I mean, I, in those cases, I don't care. And I think it's just absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. However, if you're like, 
oh, I could never date a black woman or I could never date uh, a black man because they just too much trouble or they always got an attitude. Or yeah, whatever and that's, that's something different. Now, that's the shit that pisses me off. That's a good day. point. That's a good point. Um, if you're going along that lines, clearly you need to change your circles and fix what you're looking yeah. at because there's good brothers mm-hmm. and sisters out here. It's and just all... the people you fucking with. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ain't shit. You, you're right. You, you'd have met some sorry ass motherfuckers and you didn't, you know, it, it's basically a form of racism almost, you know? You're saying, oh, because I didn't met three or four people that ain't shit, I didn't X off the whole race to date. Right. How is that any, how is that any different than any racism that we experience? Same, same energy. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's kind of the thing. And I read a few years back and I don't even think I finished it because it was getting on my nerves. It was, uh, I think it's, I wrote it down, Black Skin, White Faces by France Fanon. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to put it up here because I don't think anybody really needs to read it unless they just really want to. Um, it was, I think, early 1900s written by a French dude. So he talked about the experience of being black in France. And as far as I got, the, the, the point that he was making is a woman's goal is to get into white society as close as possible. Black woman's goal is to try to get into white society by marrying a black, um, excuse me, a white man. So that should be their ultimate, or that was their ultimate goal. Yeah, and comedians joke about that shit all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, people like, oh, he got good credit. He got a good job. Well, and yeah, then, I mean, then you live in the train of wife was uh, when she was airing him out on Instagram. Mm-hmm. She was like, he had good credit in the pickup truck. I mean, hey. and I mean that that's kind of discriminatory. I got good credit. I had a pickup truck. You did. You did. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, you know, wh- why make that distinction? Yeah. You know, just find who you find, and um. Yeah, I honestly don't care who you with. Just don't, you know. Uh, and I'm choosing my words carefully here, but uh, <clears throat> don't try to x off a whole race in a romantic relationship mm-hmm. because you had a couple bad experiences, and that's all I'm saying. You, you, yeah. I don't care who you love, but as long as you for the cause and you real with that shit, yeah. And, and don't try to hand, don't don't try to play the shit as like, oh, you know, I'm sticking it to the white man because I got one of his women. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that is stupid. <laughs> so what movie was that? I think it was uh, Don't Be a Menace. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the Damn, head. you said the whole time. Yep, that's what it was. shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that shit's stupid. So I mean, yeah. If that's what you so, like, that's what you like. Th- yeah, I mean, that's what you like, that's what you like. Uh folks, tell give us your thoughts. I mean, let, let's make this a discussion. Uh, let yeah. us know what you guys think. How do you feel? Oh, yeah. Do you feel the same way? And before we go on to anything else, speaking of the comments, if you are anybody who happens to be watching and or listening to this on YouTube and you are in the comments, if you see some weird ass name that's hyperlinked a yeah. second mark, don't, don't click that shit. No, nah, don't click that shit. I try to get rid of them as fast as I can, but don't click that shit. It's spammy. They'll hack your shit. And, and it's not good. It's, yeah. it's happening all over YouTube. They're bad. Don't touch it. And I, y'all probably watching somewhere right now. You're hacking bitches. <laughs> Fuck you. You ragged as some of them. Oh shit. <laughs>
you know, they're getting around that age where they're going to start dating and stuff. So what do you think about kind of the differences of um, your daughter's dating versus your son's dating? Or even is there any difference? Uh, well, you know, the whole stereotypical thing is, you know, you want your daughter to be this pure angel for, you know, the rest of their lives until they're like 40 when they get married and your son can start, he can, he can jump out the womb humping and you'll be good to go. I'm going to start with, I really don't believe in that. It, I mean, it's, it's different though. It's, it's, you know, your boy is, is a reflection of you. So, you know what I'm saying? When you see him mm-hmm. talking to a girl, you're like, hell yeah, son. And then when you see your daughter, it's just like, what the fuck you talking to that boy for? And that's how I was early on. You know what I'm saying? This was my first go at having teenagers and dealing with dating and all this other shit. But you know what I'm saying? With the help of Mama, Tanya, and, and, and Janae and you know, the whole, you just got to get over it thing. You know, this is what I expect. Mm-hmm. If you're going to, for my girls, if you're going to talk to someone, that could be your boyfriend or whatever the fuck, playing kissy face and all that other shit. You know, I got to meet him first. He has to respect mm-hmm. you as a person. He has to be somebody that has some drive or something. He got to be doing something with his fucking self or he's not acceptable to me. And I'm pretty sure her mom feels the same way. Um, with my boys, it's the same thing. Don't bring no ratchet ass uh, girl around my house that always got her phone out and doing duck face and all that other dumb shit. Don't bring that shit they to my They still mother. do that? I get, I probably, hell, I don't know. But you know, don't bring all that shit to my house. You know what I'm saying? You're going to talk to a, a female, same thing. Have a, have a level head on her, you know what I mean? But if you're talking to a whole bunch of them, I mean, it's a guy thing. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I know it might, may sound sexist, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain without making it sound that way. But I mean, mm-hmm. you're still you're going to high five your son, but your daughter's here. No, that's just not going to happen because it's just how society is made up. Truthfully, uh, a male can be looked at as a pimp or player. Um, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they call it now. Cause they got different slang for all types of shit, and they have to shout I'm like, "What? That's not called that. It's called this." But anyway, um, mm. you know, they looked at like they got everything going on. But a female, she go out there and do the same thing. She's a this, she's a that, she's a this, and she gets labeled in a negative light. But truthfully, I don't want that for neither one of my children. Honestly, I just try to give them good advice. I give my daughters good advice from a male's perspective. Um, what you should look for, what you should look out for. And I give my sons um, my perspective from my my situations and my experience that I've been through already. Even when we're watching shows, I'd be like, hey, son, see, y'all don't want to do this shit right here because this, 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 I have the stuff like that. So it's different, but not in the point where how it used to be. Like a dad, I'm, I'm slapping my son on the back and condemning my daughter saying, no, you can't date until you're fucking 40, things like that. Because the reality of the shit, bro, as far as your daughters go, if you try to lock them down and, you know what I'm saying, keep them in a fucking tower like they Rapunzel or some shit, when they turn 18, 19, they're going to go fucking crazy as fuck. And they're not going to have that trust in you, secondly. I want my children to have that trust in me that you can come to me talk to me about anything and everything. So as far as that, that that's really all I got, man. Um, I know yours is younger. Um, yeah. they, so basing it off of, let's say basing it off of my situation, how do you think you and you and Kim are gonna go about? It? Um, I, I we think about it sometimes. We talk about it sometimes, and um, there's a couple of things with it. I mean, one, you know, the world is pushing towards everything should be equal, mm-hmm. and I get it. I don't necessarily disagree, but I don't. Again, like I always say, there's there's levels and grades and nuances and all the shit. So. Um, let, let's talk about some of those things. And there are things that I will have to tell my son that I don't have to tell my daughter and sure. vice versa. Um, and it's not about treating them differently or looking at them differently or anything like that. I mean, when it comes to the people that they choose, ultimately, uh, I want them to, like you said, people that are going to respect them, treat them well, yeah. and not be about the bullshit. Um, Kim's dad, um, he mentioned something to me a long, long, long time ago mm-hmm. that, um, he was, a uh, he, he mentioned like, uh, he spoiled her mm-hmm. so that, um, 
any man that she took would have to, you know, she would hold them to a regards to where um, she wouldn't take no shit. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Kim's the sweetest person in the world, but she don't take no shit. I believe it. <laughs> and, I mean, and that's cool, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but it keeps you level. It, it does. It does. And And what I mean, and so what I'm saying is, I want that for both of my children. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want, like you said, I don't want no sorry ass woman for my uh, son, and I don't want no sorry ass dude for my daughter. I mean, it it goes around. So, like one of the things that I thought about that I saw on Instagram, I think there was a meme going around where it says like, uh, "Protect your daughters," mm-hmm. and it crosses it out and it says, "Educate your son." Hmm. And it's like, I, again. They're not mutually exclusive. You, no, you, you got to protect both. them both and educate pre- them both. You do both yeah. because there's there's ways. So there are different situations that are dangerous for a woman to be in mm-hmm. that are t- statistically going to be different than what a man's going to be in. So um, I remember growing up, a friend of mine, his mom always said, you know, be careful because these women out here are going to see you guys as successful or in path to be successful and they will try to trap you Mm. and shit's real because i've seen it and that's the shit that doesn't get talked about is like they'll try to trap you you know i'm all for the me too shit but you you never talk about that people lie yeah Um, that's true i mean like that uh young brother who's in jail right now for Mm -hmm. um kissing that girl or um the one dude who I think he I just heard about it recently. He got he got a charge because uh, I guess he found out she, she was in a bar. He's mm-hmm. in college. She was in a bar that she shouldn't have been in any damn way. And he was kissing on her and then he left. Didn't do anything, but they yeah. still hemmed him up for that. Yeah. And that's one of those things that as a as a man, you're you're gonna have to be mindful of. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I'm sure that young brother wasn't trying to check an ID because he assumed I had to show my ID to get in, so everything must be good. Yeah, another but prime you, example. There's actually a movie, um, it's based off a football player. I think he played with the Falcons. The uh, the Brian Banks story. It, mm-hmm. it really hits the nail on the head with that type of situation. He um got accused of X, Y, and C. He did mm-hmm. some time in jail, um, you know, almost cost him his career, couldn't get a job, things like that. So he mm-hmm. fought it until he won. But yeah, that's that's definitely something yeah. uh, to educate sons on. That that's yeah. for damn sure. So I mean you gotta be I mean you and but at the same time, for my daughter, you know, you gotta be careful because these dudes that will try to take advantage of you yep. and try to force themselves on you. Mm-hmm. And I'm not all about that. Oh, she was dressed that way. So she was asking for it. That's bullshit. Yeah. Um, I, I want her to be able to kick, you know, at least get herself safe. Mm-hmm. Um, That's why my and, babies know how to shoot. Right. Right. Shoot and, and kick for vital areas. Damn it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think nuts, nuts, never <laughs> right. in the throat. Bow. <laughs> Goddamn right. Right, so please, I mean, please I think, change go off to college. She's getting some mates at least until she turns right. I mean, I, and I think both have to protect themselves. And yes, in a perfect world, it shouldn't be that way. Right, but we know it is. Mm-hmm. So instead of, I mean, you you hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Yep. You hope that they never have to deal with that shit. But if they do, they're ready and they know what to do to get mm-hmm. themselves out of that situation. So they're not like, oh yeah, you know, mom and dad told me. To watch out for this kind of shit, exactly. or you know, if the energy is somewhere ain't right, I mean, do that. Like, I don't care, you know, who they bring home as long as they treat them well. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's really the moral of the story for me. As long as they treat them well, and they're about building them up instead of trying to bring them mm-hmm. down. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not about that. Oh, you complete me shit either. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, he you said he loved me, dad. <laughs> no, it's compliment. You are your own person. Yeah. You're doing your own shit. Yeah. Now, will you make each other better? That's the way it should work. Mm-hmm. But I'm still my own person. So, I mean, I, I don't know if that, that kind of makes sense, but I mean, that's the way I see it. It's, it does. It's, it's, there are differences, but yes, I wouldn't, I would wish that it wasn't and it was all the same and that, you know, everybody's good people and has the and best intentions and want to teach them right, treat them right. 
it's not the case. And, and you know, that's the best thing we could do, especially while yours are young. Yeah. Good time to rope them in. Like I said before, that 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 pit bull approach, don't talk to no boys, don't look at no girls. Keep your eyes straight. Stay your ass in the house. You ain't got no friends. All that type of shit like yeah. that is 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 so unnecessary and it's gonna they're not gonna know shit when they get out in the world because eventually yeah. they gotta get out in the world. And those are the people that either just break fucking loose and just wild as fuck oh, or yeah. They get taken advantage of real fucking. Yeah. And there was a woman, and nothing against any of this, but she, um, she was on our scholarship, and same kind of thing, shelter life. Um, she ended up working part time in a strip club. Mm-hmm. She ended up at all the parties. She ended up drinking all the time, all kind of other stuff. Yeah. And I guess she ended up getting hemmed up, and she ended up losing her scholarship. Damn. And see, just, that's another aspect of it. you don't even mention the, yeah. the. I guess you could say administrative trouble you can get into, mm-hmm. not just the the physical harm to yourself, but shit yeah. like that too. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, because then you see some that are like, you know, so happy. It's just different things you see. I mean, and I've seen just sometimes you see women that are just so starving for attention mm-hmm. or that person to say nice stuff to them, they'll accept anything. Yep. They do I mean, it for the likes too. That do that too. Yeah, I they mean, do that, it for that, the likes know. too. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, you know, be like, well, she got a fat ass though, and it's like but she can't read, bro. Right, she can't, <laughs> right. She can't read a credit bad. She ain't got no ambition. She ain't got no goals. She don't want to do nothing with her life. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, you just got real disgusted, boy. Ugh. Yeah, man. I, that shit kills me when you don't you don't want nothing out of life, man. Yeah, for male and female. Right, right. I, I didn't specify yeah. gender or anything, but I mean, you don't have to want to be a millionaire or anything mm-hmm. like that, but want something. Want to be the best smiler, people greeter, uh, person you can be. I mean, if you just the good working to be the best person you can be, that's that's good enough for me. Yeah. If, and it, and I, it's I like rhyme. you said, hope, hope for the best, you know, expect the worst. We Because we can't shield them forever, you know what I'm saying? We They just Go off what they what they what we've taught them, and mm-hmm. hopefully they don't make an extreme mistake. Yeah, you're gonna slip up for a second. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah. know, we try to teach them don't have the right mindset to not make those extreme mistakes. That's why I kind of feel confident on Tangi going out in the world because yeah. she slipped, she stumbled, she's learned. She, you know, she's watched, you know, how every uh, the adults around her interact and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So I know she's soaking all that in, and she has a great head on her shoulders like like i told you uh, uh last episode I, I was sitting at the fucking bar so all i mm-hmm. all i had to do all i had watched that was it um tangent in particular her boyfriend he brought his i don't know if his parents said let me speak to you to the girl daddy or he just took it upon himself to mm-hmm. have him come speak or whatever you know what i'm saying but good dude he's getting raised exactly right big things coming to him i don't have him on uh facebook or nothing to tag him or anything like that but when you yeah. graduate college bro i told you i want that first video game man i'm not playing um <laughs> but yeah, yeah you know i just cool. got a chance to sit and watch you know what i mean i did the i did the whole daddy put pressure on him even though i'm short mm-hmm. as fucking only got one good leg i still put the pressure on him. fuck <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean it was i can see your ass rolling up now let me holler at you cuz hey come over here for a second Come down. <laughs> Let me whisper in your ear. I know how it sounds. Shut the fuck up and get down. <laughs> no, sir. You will not be whispering in my ear. No, that was a joke, man. I ain't do all that shit. But I seriously, know, I know. But seriously, as far as sons and daughters, yeah, society pitches as a difference. As for us in particular, we didn't really have the we learned we learned by experience, basically. Sure. Think of a better term. Sure. Um Cause you know our situation. I'm not gonna go into all of that and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're yeah, absolutely I see him right. Over there, he back. He, he trying to come up around. Hey, he he winding up for your ass, boy. He to come back. Right. <laughs> I, I'm ready for his ass this time. He'll, oh he'll shit! Get that work this time. About to go Bruce Leroy in that bitch, bro. You know what? Shout out. Catch the you. beetle with his teeth. You go, please. <laughs> <laughs> That anniversary was yeah. the other day too, so shout out to that movie, man. Last draft yeah. was fucking amazing. Yeah, off topic, but yeah. So you got anything else, bro? As far as the, uh, you know, the sons versus daughters dating or whatnot, man? Uh, no. I mean, I think that's it. I mean, I, I guess the moral of the story is if people follow the golden rule, should it be fine? Mm-hmm. And if somebody doesn't 
abide by the golden rule in relation to you, tell them fuckers to kick rocks. Mm-hmm. There's always a good person for you out there. Yeah. It might take you longer to find them, but that's okay. Right on, right on. Um, you know, don't have no false goals like, oh, I need to meet the love of my life by 22 20. and yeah, right. by 25. And have a house that. by 29. Mm-hmm. <laughs> actually have a house. You did, 20. so I'm still renting. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. And, you know, from a parent's uh, perspective, have these these difficult, uncomfortable conversations with your mm-hmm. kids. Man. You ain't got to give them all your dirty laundry because some of the kids shouldn't even be hearing, I'm sure. I know I got some shit that my kids still don't know, won't know until they like 27. And they shouldn't. Right. But, you know, have these difficult conversations, you know what I'm saying? Have trust in your parents and, and have trust in your kids, too. Yeah, and let them see. I mean, especially if you have a healthy relationship, mm-hmm. let them see what it looks like. Right. Let them see you being on the same page with your spouse. And yep. Showing affection to your spouse. and Most definitely. You know, supporting your spouse and telling your spouse that they can't buy everything that they see on, never mind, on Instagram. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. You just I'm, lost I'm 10 joking. brownie points. You just lost 10 whole brownie points. Damn, no. Lamar. <laughs> Baby, you can have whatever you like. Yeah. Nah, I'm joking. Kim knows. All I care about is what it is. So when I put it in the budget, I know what to call it. Right on, right on, right on. Yeah, man. So with that, you know, I was sitting back thinking mm-hmm. about a month or two ago. Like, I was really, really thinking. I was watching, what was that show? Uh, Lovecraft Country or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I love, seen it. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird as fuck, but it's good as fuck, if that makes any sense. Um, That's what I heard. So there's a, a scene in the episode where they go back in time and mm-hmm. they live through the the, you know, the massacre of Black Wall Street and all that other stuff, you know, mm-hmm. they lived mm-hmm. through it, so they went back in time, so again, I was sitting there thinking, like, if we were to recreate that shit now, how in the hell would we even get started? So I had a couple ideas, and I'm sure you with your, your Mr. Research and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, hashtag Mr. Research, I'm sure you got some shit, you know what I'm saying, some ideas on how we could get to that point if we were ever to get to that point again. Um... Hmm. So I thought about it a little bit, and in some respects, I don't think we need to. Okay. Uh, That's as, uh, and and the w- reason why I say that is because now, if you look at the way the world works, I mean, especially where we're going with um, cryptocurrency and all that kind of shit, mm-hmm. you you know what what one of the 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 things about Black Wall Street was. Everybody was concentrated in that one area for right. that particular instance. Right. There were more instances in history, but just talking about, you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma and mm-hmm. the shit that happened there, um, they were concentrated in one area. Mm-hmm. With the internet and e commerce and all that shit, you don't have to do that now. So you can't say, let me just go here. Or, I mean, because, like, take me for example. Um, my chiropractor is black. Um, trying to find a black doctor, a black dentist, uh, and you don't necessarily have to be in one general area. Or you know, shit that I purchase offline is black. Shit that, uh, right. from black folks. The shit that Kim has purchased has been from black folks. And that's that same energy. I mean, mm-hmm. you can get that energy, but I don't think you need to have a black Wall Street per se. Right. I think we need to you know, so deal with our resources and support our businesses and not be trying to, like we talked about way back when. Mm-hmm. Uh, to we be about, on that same level nationally versus yeah. having that one yeah. condensed spot. Okay, I got right. you. I, I mean, and, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, um, so there is a uh, gun YouTuber or he's, he's a he, he's a firearm instructor and mm-hmm. he said some shit on Instagram and he was talking, he mentioned, um, he said he bought something from a brother. And then the brother came back around and bought something from him. That's how she worked. And, and if you think about it, neither one of them spent any money. Mm-hmm. And that's I was true. like, that's how shit should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you look at shit like that, and if you circulate that money, you don't have to be physically located, but you can still give that energy and find that support. And I think that's even better. Yeah. I mean, I think the shit can be bigger and better. Wow. because I should have went first. 
<laughs> God damn. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, that shoots down everything. I was going, bitch. Go ahead, man. Well, continue. No, it's a difference that's of dope. Opinion. That's dope. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's a difference that's, of opinion, that's the but whole that's the point of why we're here is yeah. you see it a little different than me. So with that, let, let's see what you think, and then we can put them together. Do you need a minute to collect your shit? Hey, my, you ain't see the steam coming out? <laughs> These motherfuckers just being, bro. I'm like, what's you, you, you went, you what went all I, going on, man. Yeah, what am I going to say, man? Yeah, but, but first of all, you completely destroyed what I was thinking, because that shit is like, that's actual fact, Mr. Research. That's actually what's going on, how it's working, how it should continue to work. That way, like I said, we can get on the same level nationally. But if we're going to do something as far as just our own solidarity community type shit, like a lot of people are talking, like uh, Killer Mike, a couple other people, they was actually still talking this type of stuff. You know, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is land. You, need to, uh, you know, get some land, get your capital up, you know mm-hmm. things like that, and then secondly, you know, stop hating on, stop hating on the next brother next to you, mm-hmm. and that that kind of ties into your point. Okay, I'm still in there, Ugh. but um, oh, yeah. that kind of ties into your next point. You know what I mean? Just like you said, the brother bought something from the other one, and he came back mm-hmm. and bought something. You know what I'm saying? Sharing the love around. Yeah. You know, a lot of people still aren't grasping that fact. It's oh, mm-hmm. uh, this motherfucker trying to fuck me over, man. Hell no, nah, I ain't fucking right. that, in, that in word. I ain't doing this and this, this, mm-hmm. this, this. And that motherfucker high as hell. I can go get that shit from Walmart, you know, doing shit like that. Mm-hmm. And, and that's another, that's probably bigger than a land, in my opinion, on how we can get our, not just a black Wall Street, but be uh, national competitors, if you will. Because, you know, mm-hmm. early in the episodes, you you threw them facts out um, as far as how we compete against our, our counterparts. And that, that's the biggest thing, you know what I mean? And, and it's starting to get there. I'm seeing a lot of that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We There's want our people. industries. Yeah, certain industries. I'm just talking about the local people because they don't even start at the top. Bro. That shit started at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Just started at the bottom and that shit gets infectious. And it's starting to, it's starting to get because everybody wants to see everybody win, man. That's like yeah. in the beginning when I put out about uh, Jonathan and eBay um, yeah. with the trucks right. and, and, and Cuzzo with the lamps and things like that. I want to see them win. You know what I mean? Right. And hopefully they'll throw a couple of subscribers our way. Right. And, I um, mean, and the thing is, too, while I may not necessarily want your product per se, mm-hmm. I can still support you yeah. because somebody well, wants I might it. not want it. Somebody else that may be their thing. I yeah, mean, most definitely. You know, I may be into something that you're not into. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, um, trying to think. Like, no disrespect to Cuzzo with the lamps. That ain't my thing. I mean, and I mean they dope lamps. No, just playing. Yeah, they no, are dope I'm, lamps, I'm, but I'm it's just, just saying, they're, they're it's just not lamps, your product. But that's not just not my aesthetic. As a consumer, now, you wouldn't buy it. Right, right. Gotcha. Now, will I put him on to other people that are doing that oh, yeah. shit? Oh, yeah. Or that, that may be interested in that shit? You, you're damn right. You heard that shit. And I mean, I think that's more important than if I... Because um, there's a uh, black cigar company here in Dallas, and they always post on their Instagram, support is free. Yeah. Damn right. And I mean, right. that right there, if I can support you to, buy, to get four or five people to support your product, Mm-hmm. That's way better than me buying one. It, yeah. the, the way I see it. Yeah, you're right. And it, it's it's nothing against it. It's just different taste for different people. It's not your thing, but you're still gonna look out. And that's what yeah, yeah. We're, that like means, I, and that's what we're starting to do. Slowly but surely we're starting to do it. I mean, you still got those pockets of you know those 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 secret haters that are that'll talk shit behind your back and all that type of shit. But yeah. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. But if we come in as a collective and you know what I'm saying? You got that ladder right here, then the next person get it. You know what I'm saying? Eventually that shit gonna go all the way to the motherfucking top. I know that was a little cheesy, but yeah. um, fuck it. Whatever. When you're looking at if you don't have a business yet and you're thinking about it, mm-hmm. look at what nobody's doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing right now. And I got right. it, but I ain't gonna put right. it out right now. Right. Or if it's your spin on it, if you see a gap in the market, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, um, there's a um, I listen to Earn Your Leisure a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, there are people doing financial stuff, yeah. but I don't think anybody's doing it like them. Yeah, And, you know, they're doing the interviews, they have the podcast, they have the classes. And, you know, don't get caught up with, oh, that shit's too expensive. Mm-hmm. Look at the value that you're getting a lot of times. And don't always, like, try to be trying to get that shit on discount. I mean, because sometimes they are going to offer discounts, but yeah. 
I mean, like I give you an example. Um, one of my homeboys from college, he uh he sells coffee now. Mm-hmm. And you know, coffee is my shit. Right. And so I bought a couple bags from him and I'll eventually post on Instagram mm-hmm. um uh the coffees that I bought from two of my homeboys actually. Um I post this stuff so maybe somebody else can be interested in it. But what I'm saying is they were running a promotion and I missed it. Mm. And I, I forgot to put the discount code in there. And, you know, I could have been like, hey, can I get that discount still? But my goal is to support. Yeah. So fuck the discount for right now. You're right. Just to support. And, yeah. uh, and that's bigger than, you know, anything, man. And find those industries that you can get into. Um, mm-hmm. I was listening to something the other day where, um, what, what is it? I think I think I have to finish listening to it, but she's into uh, water like getting water to people and stuff and then mm-hmm. there's another lady that's working like to build power grids for cities i mean let's look at some of that shit and i think that's one of the areas like you can find all the clothes beard oil and all that shit that you can stand that's black owned and shout out to a lot of them because but you said beard shit. oil because you said beard oil though you said beard. <laughs> I'm gonna use some of that shit, so this shit ain't so gray. And no, this, man, this shit about to go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Also, look at, you know, look at your interest and yeah. look at where you can play in those interests. And it may not necessarily be easy, but you, you can do that shit. Yeah, and you touched on something real big with the. It, it could be, um, something that somebody else isn't doing, mm-hmm. but it can also still be somebody what somebody is doing, but with your own little niche or niche to it right it, it could be either one of those you know what i'm saying and it's like i told um the wife with her is like nanny creations you know you could do oh. more than shirts or mm-hmm. or you know what i'm saying she does the shirts the itching of the glasses the, well and you know in a minute i'll shit. call her and be like hey can you yeah dot, dot, dot. And you ain't the only one my partner rob man shout out to my homeboy rob they, he does the same shit hey oh uh, can your wife make me um a, a b and c and I mean, right. that's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? We, and we circulate shit. You know what I mean? We circulate like Kim with her oils, uh, with her oils and shit. Mm-hmm. She whip out the grimoire real quick. You know what I'm saying? But hey, <laughs> my sister-in-law got them oils cause for the lows. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? But I agree with your point. We don't really necessarily need to create a, a, a solitude, a utopia, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. We don't need to create Wakanda. With us, by us, like it's FUBU. Um, <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I'm uh, Harlem shaking and shit. <laughs> you could, you know, like you said, build that shit up on a national level where mm-hmm. we have banks that are contenders. Hell, cigarettes, even though they're bad for you. Cigarette uh-huh. contenders, uh, water, music, coffee, cigars, cigars, cigars whiskey, cigars. anything, lamps, fucking trucking companies, clothing lines, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we could be on the same level of these big companies that are not being ran by melanin folk. You know what I'm saying? And Truly, truly make this country great. Yeah. Man, I've been looking for a black owned jeweler mm-hmm. to make me a particular ring. Those are t- those are hard it. to find. I just cannot find it. Cause our, our brown complete brothers got that shit unlocked. Yeah. Yeah. But you know. Shout out to them too. Hey. Yeah. Get yeah. your hustle on. Yeah. If you know anybody that makes jewelry, like real heavyweight metal jewelry. Nothing against like the costume shit and the beads and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, I rock with the beads too. I mean, oh, you said my, beads. Shout out the uh, my, my mother in law made these. So shout out to Shayla. She doing them them, them waist beads. Shout out to yeah, her yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to all that, but that ain't exactly what I'm looking for. He looking for some waist beads, cause uh, no. <laughs> he looking for some waist beads. I can give them to Kim. I mean, Mar trying to get his sexy back. Hey man, you go ahead, man. You go ahead. You go. Ahead. <laughs> and if I do want to wear some fucking waist beads, I rock them motherfuckers. Hey, but you go ahead, man. With your goddamn Aladdin vest, you do that shit, bro. Hey, I like my shit. You see, that's the thing too. That's the thing I find. Uh huh. Go ahead. A slight little tangent is that you see a lot of unfortunately similar shit. Uh huh. And like for those of us that like different kinds of shit, like I like woodworking shit. I can't do the shit, but you know I appreciate handmade shit. Yeah. I'm actually going to start doing some of that when I go to Mississippi. Okay. It's going to be interesting. I'm building a bed, yeah. uh, uh, headboard for the bed. Go ahead. Hey, don't judge me, man. That shit be no, dope. no judgment here. I'll support. It's going to be flimsy uh, as fuck, boy. As soon as I put it up, that bitch going to snap. 
I've seen you put shit together. It's scary. <laughs> Sometimes I do it good. Yeah. But um, no, I mean, that, that's the thing. Just if you and if you know some people in there, support. Uh, shout yeah. out to mom, by the way. Oh, yeah. That Georgia um, coordinator. Yeah, they got that event got coming that, up. That event coming up. When is yes, that again? Sir. I can't remember. Uh, it starts the weekend of May 28th. I know they got something going yeah. on May 29th where mm-hmm. our uncle Ahmad is, you know, doing his, his yep, he's yep, yep. doing his thing on stage. I'm a hope, hopefully I could be there, but yep. it's yeah, stage graduation weekend. Yeah, they're gonna have vendors stuff too. So yeah, yeah shout out, out, shout out to Mamie too with Zora's closet. Yeah, yeah if yeah. y'all like that type of thing too, y'all go ahead and shop. Where we we keep it in the culture to build ourselves up. We don't have to be in mm-hmm. no secluded spot like you said, like it's Wakanda or some shit. Yeah, we don't have to be that because hell, even at the end of Black Panther, they broke out their shell to get with the rest of everybody else. Way to way to tie that in, man. I'm proud. Hey. <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, that's all I, got. I think that's about it. Let let America be our Black Wall Street. Let's get where the actual Wall Street is. Uh, let, let's make it the world. The world. Everything yeah. international, man. Damn brave. Damn right. I guess I'm pinky. If it's, if it's. <laughs> <laughs> that's two for today sir <laughs> you're number one in my book you motherfucker <laughs> same thing we do every night <laughs> hey that's my shit though man yeah that is the shit man it always has been yeah. shit uh, y'all, y'all stay tuned for the cartoon episode that's coming soon, that's coming soon. <laughs> yeah, that's <gonna> <laughs> well yeah. everybody it's that's... been fun we'll and be another one again. check us out thanks for the support again Again, if you see those stupid ass comments, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, just don't, ignore them. Have no attention. Don't Please don't that. click on that click, shit. Don't click that shit. Please don't click on that shit. I ain't got no quote, but uh, shit happens. Yeah, get over no it. Quote, but keep it pushing. If you, if you got your stimmy, do good shit with it. Don't waste it all. Hey, spend, I just spend, got my motherfucking stimmy. Uh, 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 spend uh, it on some good shit. Go back to our episode on what to do with your stimmy. Nigga, I'm buying a two-headed pit bull or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you buy the pit bull and make an Instagram for it and monetize that shit, I'm good. Do what you want. And I'm going to get a top and bottom grill diamond cut. I'm playing. I'm too old for that shit. Yeah, no. So. But yeah. Well, that's another one. Episode fun. 18. Baby. Everybody take care of every, each other. Oh, yeah. Do good shit. And Support we'll see each you other. Next time. Yeah. And we out.